Be strong and courageous because the Lord has delivered the enemy into your hands. You will be the victor in the end and not a victim of circumstances. You will watch as your enemies come to bow before you. They will be put to shame and confounded. You will have the last laugh and you will stand triumphant in the end. You should realize that this battle is not just about you. It goes beyond your finances, your children, your spouse, your career, your family, or your health. It is a battle between good and evil, light and darkness, between the forces of the host of heavens and the powers of the demonic ones in high places. It is a battle that had been there before you existed, and you are merely caught in the middle of it all. The beautiful thing is that the result of that battle is already known. It is a war that has been concluded. The host of heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and overcame him. That can be found in the book of Revelation. And we see throughout the Bible how the devil always came up with one plan or the other, using different agents from time to time to work against the plan of God. But God always wins and would continue to win. As long as you are on God's side, you can be sure that you will continue to win all the time. It is a victory that is assured. It is a battle that had been fought and won. All you need to do is key yourself into that victory and claim it continuously. Whatever situation you happen to find yourself, no matter how difficult or impossible it is, Declare the victory that you already have in Christ and you will see how things work out for you. The book of Ephesians make us understand that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities, against rulers of darkness in high places. That is to tell you that the people you are seeing around you and perceiving as your enemies are just agents being used by the devil. They are not the real enemy. The enemy you are fighting against is not your neighbor who is trying to make life unbearable for you. It's not your boss at work who has been stopping your promotion. It's not your colleagues that are envious of you. All of those people are just being used by the devil to attack you. So do not fight the problem at the surface. Attack it from the root. You have been given certain weapons in your arsenal that you can use to combat the devil. And these weapons are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. You need to pull down every work of the enemy in your life. So engage the weapons of your warfare. You must realize that life itself is a battleground from the moment you were born to the time you take your final breath. You will have wars to fight. There will be battles all around you, especially the battle for your soul. That is the main thing the enemy is after. He wants to win you over to his side so you can end up just like him. And so, the moment you give your life to Christ, he looks for every and any means to drag you back into the darkness. In a bid to get your soul, he might try to touch your health, your finances, your family, your business, or any other thing that is important for you. But you need not worry or become anxious. If God is for you, who can stand against you? When the enemy rise up like a flood against you, you can be sure that the Lord will raise a standard against them. Through Christ, we are more than just conquerors. We have victory because Christ won it all at the cross of Calvary. When he said it is finished, he meant it is finished. That means all pain, suffering, torment, bondage, and agony is finished. He took the stripes for our sake, and through that, we can claim that we have been healed. He was poor so that we might be rich. Moreover, He has given unto all authority such that whatever we bind here on earth is bound in heaven, and whatever we lose on earth is lost in heaven. We can speak to the devil himself and tell him to get behind us. That is the victory we have over the enemy. You might be in a state of dilemma at the moment, lost in thought with no idea what to do next. You might find it difficult to comprehend what is going on around you and it may seem as though the enemy is winning. 
But no, you are on the winning side, as long as you are on God's side. And God has the best battle plans. Just when the devil thinks he has won, God will come up with something spectacular, an ambush that will shock even the devil himself. When Jesus was crucified, everyone thought that was the end and the devil must have been jubilating. Little did he know that he had only helped in the glorification of Christ and fulfilling the purpose for which Christ came to earth. The Bible tells us that if they had known, they would not have crucified Christ in the first place. You might be going through some terrible experience at the moment, but all will work out for your good in the end. You will come out stronger and on top of that situation. You will have the last laugh and all your enemies will be put to shame. Your failing health will receive the word of God and you will rise up whole and well again. Your finances will receive the touch of God and you will survive this current dryness. You will not be brought down, you will not be overpowered and the enemy will not have his way in your life. The Lord will give you victory in every areas of your life, be it spiritual, physical, financial, or material. Just bear in mind that you have won the battle already. Let nothing discourage you or keep you down. When the enemy comes against you, resist him furiously. He will try to attack your mind. He will try to make you feel small and incapable. He will try to make you feel defeat even before you have had a chance to fight. And that is exactly where the battle begins. It starts in the mind, in your heart. That is why the scriptures command that you guard your heart with all diligence because out of it proceeds the issues of life. If you can win the battle in your mind, you have already won the battle in reality. Remember your weapons and use them wisely. Faith will stand as a shield protecting you from the fiery darts of the enemy. It will block every form of doubt and keep fear at bay. It will give you peace and the confidence to go on. Also, don't forget the importance of prayers. In prayers, your faith is reinforced and you can communicate clearly with God. Go forth in your might as the courageous soldier that you are and do not become entangled with civilian affairs. That is, the things of the world as they can serve as distractions. Also, learn to put the Lord always before you. Let Him lead you and guide you. That way, you can be sure that no harm will come near you, and you will always win in life. You will see yourself winning in every areas of your life. As you dwell in the secret place of God, He will overshadow you and keep you safe. You will triumph over your enemies and they will be put to shame. Your victory is assured and victorious you shall be.